everything inside me. A few decades ago, movies about secret societies were rare and far apart. There has however been a major switch during the last decade. The worldwide public has witnessed major blockbuster movies featuring those brotherhoods at the center of the story. Their exoteric symbols are abundantly displayed, and some of their histories is even explained. Why are those societies exposing themselves to the average moviegoers, who, for the most part, aren't even aware of their existence? Isn't secrecy an important requisite for the survival of those orders? I believe an important change is taking place in the communication strategies of these elite societies. The advent of the digital age, where any individual can create and publish content, has rendered the secrecy of such organizations impossible. Self-published websites, books, documentaries, DVDs and other media, have exposed many secret societies. Information which could only be found in rare and exclusive books, is now a Google search away. I have encountered some Masons who were astonished by the level of knowledge possessed by the profane. Those types of Masonic scholars, who aren't actually initiated into the Brotherhood, were very rare not too long ago. Since the digital switch is irreversible and completed, occult orders have adapted their strategy to this new context, they've probably seen this coming years ago. The strategy is, if they have to know about us, we'll tell them what to know. Through Hollywood and best-selling books, secret societies are being introduced to the average Joe, but with one big condition. The public is given a distorted, caricatured, and romantic portrayal of secret societies. We are introducing into pop culture mythical lore around secret societies, associating them with fascinating symbols, treasures hunts, and exotic adventures. The viewers believe they are actually learning facts about secret societies, and they leave the movies with a sense of wonder, fascination, and admiration. Those feelings are however based on totally erroneous facts, dubious explanations, and fairy tale storytelling. After viewing those movies, the viewer has a positive predisposition concerning those orders, and will be less inclined to believe and research conspiracies related to them. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This blockbuster adventure movie, was produced by Walt Disney Pictures, a brand that guarantees family-friendly entertainment so parents can bring their kids and enjoy a nice wholesome disinformation session. The movie revolves around a treasure hunt based on clues left by prominent Masons on the Declaration of Independence. The movie starts with the main character, played by Nicolas Cage, as a little boy, searching for information about his family history. The boy's grandfather comes in and gives the boy and the audience a totally false and distorted story of the Knights Templars and the Freemasons. Here are some of the claims. The Knights Templars found under the Temple of Solomon a great treasure which was lost for a thousand years. They've brought the treasure back to Europe. It has been said that the Templars possessed extremely rare religious artifacts. Were they found under the Temple of Solomon? The legend says yes. The movie, however, describes the treasure as gold coins, statues and such. The Templars decided to smuggle the treasure into the United States and change their name to the Freemasons. This is where everything falls apart. The Templars did not change their name to the Freemasons at the dawn of the American civilization. The Templars have actually disappeared in 1312, which is more than 400 years before the creation of the USA. Sean Martin, the Knights Templar, said. Seemingly untouchable for nearly two centuries, the Templars fell from grace spectacularly after the loss of the Holy Land. In 1307, all Templars in France were arrested on charges of heresy, homosexuality, denial of the cross, and devil worship. 
the order was suppressed by the Pope in 1312, and Jacques de Molay, the last Grand Master, was burned to the stake as a heretic two years later. The Freemasons are not an all-American institution, as the movie insinuates. It is a European secret society dating from the Middle Ages, who opened lodges in North America to expand its reach. The goal of Masonry is not to protect a great Templar treasure, it is an ancient order of builders who incorporated into its rites, over the years, teachings of the Templars, Rosicrucians, and the Illuminati. The Templars was an occult order who had fought during the Crusades at the side of the Church. It is during their stay in the Middle East that they've secured occult knowledge from Eastern mystics and brought it back to Europe. They've become great bankers and cathedral builders, in which they've included occult symbolism. They were known to practice the Kabbalah, many forms of magic and the black arts. Their conflicting interests with the Catholic Church ultimately lead to their persecution and demise. The Freemasons can be considered spiritual descendants of the Knights Templar, due to their study of esoteric sciences, their building of monuments, and their philosophy based on Gnostic principles. The link between the Templars and the Masons is being cultivated due to the mythical lore surrounding the Knights. In other words, it's good publicity. Domenico Margiata, 33 degrees, Adriano Lemmy, said. In order to ensure great popularity for the Scottish Rite, he, Isaac Long, linked it directly with the Templars by a mysterious legend. So the educational part of the movie gives, in fact, a mythical and romantic story of Freemasonry. Some viewers might view this distortion as fact, others will associate everything Masonic to a fairy tale. The important thing is, that the truth about Freemasonry is concealed behind a veil of mythology. Warning, major spoilers ahead. Like all true mythological stories, national treasure has an exoteric meaning for the ignorant masses, and an esoteric meaning for the initiates. If the exoteric story is meant to mislead the public, the esoteric meaning carries however great truths about occult brotherhoods. Here's the hidden meaning. The ancient treasure that was jealously guarded by ancient civilizations is, in fact, occult knowledge, the mysteries, that could break the shackles of materialism and help their possessor access divinity, Kabbalah, alchemy, Gnosticism and occult sciences. This treasure disappeared for a thousand years from the Western world, which corresponds to the early Christian period. The movie says that it was eventually discovered by the Knights Templar in Jerusalem, under the Temple Solomon, and brought it back to Europe. This knowledge then migrated to the USA through secret societies. The hero of the movie is on a quest for illumination, and the riddles he must solve represent the initiations one must pass before accessing higher knowledge. This all-important treasure is symbolically buried under Trinity Church in New York, in a hidden cave, which is dark and cavernous. Ben Gates has to light up the torch of illumination to find his way to the hidden knowledge. The torch represents the Luciferian doctrine of American Freemasonry instituted by Albert Pike. In the highest degrees, Lucifer is taught to be the light bearer, the god of good who shows the path to illumination. Domenico Margiata 33 degrees, Adriano Lemmy, said. Its high degrees of Scottish Rite religion, as Manichian Neo-Gnosticism, teaching that the divinity is dual, and that Lucifer is the equal of Adonai, with Lucifer, the god of light and goodness, struggling for humanity, against Adonai the god of darkness and evil. Manly P. Hall, in Lost Keys of Freemasonry, writes. When the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands, and before he may step onwards and upwards, he must prove his ability to properly apply this energy. Back to the story. Ben Gates, with his Luciferian torch, finds the path to illumination, and obtains access to an infinite source of knowledge. During the scene where the heroes look around the treasure room, they find very significant items. Scrolls from the Library of Alexandria, Egyptian statues, and other artifacts from the antiquity. All of those objects refer to the occult knowledge that has been communicated through the ages through secret societies. At the end of the movie, 
Ben Gates speaks with the FBI inspector and begs him not to send him to jail. Flashing his Masonic ring, the representative of the law says, someone has to go to jail for the stealing of the Declaration of Independence. The next scene shows the bad guys, the non-Masons, getting arrested, even if they did not actually steal the Declaration. We see here a blatant example of the Masonic oath superseding the law. The FBI agent willfully ignored the law to help his Masonic brother. Then the end of the movie shows the heroes rich and happy. There's no esoteric meaning to this, it is just a sappy Disney ending. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.